Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Monday, which means it's time for another Nas Watches Darwin's Game. Oh boy. So in the last episode, uh, the gang all got together, and uh, Dio is going to die, I guess. They gathered a bunch of rings, figured out that it was a set of coordinates, and the real way to win the game is in Shibuya Station. So I guess they're heading off there now, and they're gonna have to fight the big boss man, while Dio fights the rest of the Eighths, and he's probably going to fucking die. I mean, we, we all know he's gonna die, he's not in the opening. He's not in the opening, which means he's not part of the, the, the main boy squad, which means he's going to either die or leave the series entirely. And I get the feeling, uh, you don't retire from Darwin's game, Darwin's game retires you. So, I guess, I guess we've got that to look forward to. Hopefully he'll have, like, a cool fight with, uh, with the boss man. I don't know. But, let's get in here and let's see how our boy goes out, shall we? In three, two, one, and go! Anyplex. Man, I really hope they give Dio, like, a really good send-off, you know? Like, man, like, fucking, like... Man, I really like the florist. Not just because he's Dio. That's the thing with Wangs. They always stick themselves where you don't want them. My man, did you feel guilty about anyone you've killed? I don't know, Dio. You've killed a lot of people. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Must he's got telekinesis? Yeah, he's got fucking he's got a fucking punch ghost. He's got a fucking stand. He's fighting Jotaro again. Ho ho. And then he come as close as you'd like. Wait, but Wang also has pyrokinesis. Ah. Ah, yes. Buddhist-type pyrokinesis. Why do they call him Sig? Oh, it's because he has a fucking Sig Sour P226 in his back. In his back pocket. Oh, man, Dio's gonna fucking die. So, Telekinesis Man, he's not there, right? We didn't see him last episode? I can't, be I can't believe my man's- my man Dio, he's gotta fight Muhammad Avdol and fucking Jotaro Kujo again. God damn. Actually, Dio never fought Avdol, actually, yeah. Avdol got fucking killed by Vanilla Ice. Man, imagine how Jojo would have changed if uh, Abdol and Kakyoin had survived. Like, imagine Kakyoin and Abdol helping helping Jotaro find Kira. I don't know whether that would be easier or harder. <laughs> I imagine with a big enough uh, with a big enough uh, hierophant barrier, fucking what the fuck would Kira do? The one thing I really want to know is, like, how this wish shit works. Like, a lot of you get into it for money, but, like... Does Darwin's game actually just give you the ability to grant wishes? Because, like, fuck, dude. I mean, I feel like the Ice Lolly's wish kind of got, like, monkey's pawed a little bit by, like, you know, giving her schizophrenia, but, I mean, hey, I mean, I guess that works, right? I mean, also, it's a place that most players would probably know. Shibuya, like... 
like, Japanese people use trains a lot, and Shibuya Station would be something most people would be very familiar with. Wait, how are they allowed to get in? Okay, wait, I thought the area was closed off to, to, so it was only people that were participating. I... I don't, I don't understand. I thought the whole gimmick was that this area was closed off. Damn, even the fucking jobbers are figuring it out. Jesus. <laughs> Damn, I think that was the quickest I've, we've seen, like, character introduction to character death I've ever seen. Holy shit. you think Dio would be able to make a plant that was a little bit more fireproof. Like, isn't it the thing where, like, certain, some, certain trees, when they, get hit by, when they get hit by lightning, only their insides catch fire because their bark is really, really dense or some shit like that? I don't know enough about trees. Do grenades actually go off if they get hot enough? Oh, there's the punch ghost! Damn, I can't believe Dio is fucking dead. Quick, expose him to sunlight. I mean, that's basically flying, let's be honest. Oh. oh, man, I was hoping that that would just be death for all three of them. That is the most Dio thing I've ever fucking seen, dude. Oh my god. He's literally just using his sigil to keep his fucking heart going. Oh my god, he's... He's just a JoJo character, dude. He is just a JoJo character. He destroyed the building's foundations. He's destroyed the building foundations. Nah, my gamer. That's not how plants work.
that is that is that is just that that is Dio. That's how Dio works. Oh, I'm about to die, and I'm gonna take you all with me if I can't survive myself. But I'm gonna still try, though. Damn, I can't believe his daughter is just going to slowly die without his him bringing him money, bringing her money even. And why didn't you name her Gerbera? Damn, can't believe it. Oh god, that is great. That is fucking great. Rip in peace, Dio. Rip in peace. Still, like, a little annoyed that they went out of their way to redeem him retroactively, but still. Then how the fuck you gonna find it? If it don't show up on the, on the AR, on the AR camera, what the fuck? Damn. Damn, that's, that's a lot of yens. Like, yen already doesn't, like, track in my brain as having value because the numbers are so fucking big, but, like, still, that's big numbers even for yen. Maybe bringing a sniper rifle was a bad idea. Hey, my gamer, that's not a woman, that's a child. <laughs> the other guy's... The other guy's sigil is Chris Hansen. Well, there goes her sniper rifle. So I guess, uh, so I guess she's now fucking not... How did she not see him? Okay, I, I thought his sigil was just a fire thing. How does he get around Lapless? Okay, now I'm, now I'm confused as fuck as to what Wang's power is. Jesus Christ, just break the lolly's arm, why don't you? Jesus. Twist my arm, why don't you? Oh, please tell me she's about to fucking do some Joe Star bullshit. Man, guy's kind of an idiot, huh?
Is 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 that a real thing? Is that a real thing the Chinese did? I mean, it sounds on brand for some of the crazier Chinese emperors, but there you go. My man had to bring the waifu. Hey, there you go. It's a good old day trip for the family. Papa Kaname, Mama Shuka, Uncle RPD man, and, t and the two children. One big happy family. And see, that's the difference between the Japanese, Japanese protagonists and American protagonists. We don't negotiate with terrorists. See, you know he's serious because he said it in English. Like, they've got SMGs and pistols. We've got a guy with a Russian LMG. Like, I don't know, man. I, I feel like I put the money on the LMG at that point because it's literally designed to fucking suppress people. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I like how they could just, they just, okay, he just fucking teleported. He could, I thought his, I thought his ability was fire. Didn't he use fire in the first, in like the first episode he showed up? Does he have more than one fucking sigil? Like, or did I just misunderstand what his fucking power was when he first showed up? I mean... I mean, it kind of had to happen anyway, but him teleporting, that makes sense. Like, if, if Pascal... Uh, no, Pascal, if Laplace... If, if Laplace can, like, predict movement patterns, if he's not moving, then that's different. Uh, I love RPD, man. This is... Okay, so he's got a... Okay, so he can teleport and he can... He's got... He's got... He's got two sigils. He's got two sigils. What the fuck? That's... I mean, that, that makes him a cool villain. At least makes him stronger than most of the guys they fight. And also them. Surely his Kevlar is done by now, right? Fuck, just straight up off with his arm. Okay. And here I thought RPD man would be... Here I thought RPD man would be a, would be a, someone who keeps showing up, but I guess I guess not. I guess he's gonna just lose an arm.
What if it's in a safe and the diamond is the is the combination of the safe? Ah uh, yes, she must enter her She must enter her mind palace. <laughs> Re reject maternity. <laughs> Return to the Precambrium. My girl's brain is literally a fucking supercomputer. What the fuck? How does being able to innately predict movements turn into being a goddamn quantum computer? Damn. It's a good thing her brain lolly gave her a copy of Charles Darwin, huh? Damn, overclocking her overclocking her brain computer gives her nosebleeds. That's pretty neat. Wang's fucking face is so weird. Like, his mouth extends wider than it, than, like, actually is. It's weird. I won't let him turn me into liquor. Ryuji's just like, I already pulled the pins. The spoons all hit the floor. I mean, once you say you surrender, that kind of defeats the point, my dog. He's lying! My god, I can't believe it! All right, what's this gimmick? Yeah, but they don't do give and take. They, take, they do take and do take. Oh boy! All right, I wonder. I wonder what his gimmick's gonna be on this one. How's he gonna? How's he gonna bamboozle the boys? So I mean. I mean, this isn't like a world where you can just regrow an arm. So, like, RPD Man, he's either going to be out of the show, or he's going to die, or he's going to get, like, a sick robot arm. I'm hoping for sick robot arm, but I highly doubt sick robot arm is in the gotcha shop. I don't know. I don't know about that one. It is cool seeing, like, every all the whole team working together, though. Like, this is the, I think this is the first episode we've had the whole team. And seeing them all, like, work together, even if for, like, a short amount of time. I don't know. That's real fun. I like that a lot. Yeah, so he's, got, he's still got his arm in the, in the ending. So either he's gonna get a sick robot arm, or... I don't know. Oh, boy. Yeah, like, I don't know. Like, they really do, like, come across as, like, just a big family, you know? Papa, Papa Kaname, Mama Shuka, Uncle RPD Man, and then the two, and then the two babies. The two baby children. I don't know, it's, it's a cool, it's a cool dynamic. <clears throat> but at the very least, uh, what, what episode was this, episode 7? At the very least, we've still got, like, f like, four more episodes. Like, where we can see them actually, like, you know, go through, like, 
and I'm, I'm, I'm wondering how it's going to be, because, like, I feel like, the, not the, not next episode, but episode after next is going to be the end of this arc, and I don't know if a season two got announced for this. I, I don't know, I've been trying to avoid shit so I don't get spoiled. So, I'm wondering if they're going to start a new arc and then use it as a teaser for a season two, or if they're going to drag this out, like, kicking and screaming until episode 12. I don't know. Um... This is definitely some good shit, though. Holy shit, this is definitely, like, this show, I don't think, has had a bad episode yet. I, I, I think this is honestly a really, really good example of a death game show. Uh, like, yeah. Um, like, you've got, like, the death game isn't so much the focus as, like, the interactions between the participants are. And, and that's honestly a good thing, because if you focus too much on the death game... And, like, like, the main thing that makes a death game interesting is the fact that there are people in the death game that very much do not want to be there. And seeing people deal with the high stress of, of that sort of thing and how, like, people band together, fight, betray each other, and, like, work as a team. Like, that, to me, is infinitely more interesting than, like, in this episode, I'm going to have to fight seven guys and murder them to death. Like, that shit kind of, that shit kind of lame, dog. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie, dog. That shit kind of lame. Um, as far as this episode goes, though, uh, I I like how Dio went out like a pimp. Like I knew he was gonna die. Like the second he joined the good guy team and he wasn't in the opening, I knew he was gonna die. I just didn't know how, and I'm glad he went out in a thematically appropriate way. Like, he went out, he, like, his whole thing has been the plants are better than people, and he's going to do whatever he can to try and survive to protect his daughter. And every action he took was him trying to survive and hold on to life as long as possible. And, it, and when he finally could no longer hold on to life and he was just fucked, he tried to take down as many people with him as he could because, like, you know, fuck them. Because of them, his daughter no longer has a dad. So fuck those guys. Like, I don't know. Like, it, it's it's really cool thematically. And, like, the whole thing about plants, you know? Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, he kind of, like, on his death, he kind of reverted a little bit to his villain form. And that's kind of cool. I'm still not a gigantic fan of how, like, they just, just retroactive good guy syndrome on him. But at the very least, it wasn't as bad as, as I, have other, I have seen it. So that is, like, one ding against this show. Um, like, you know, it's like, the show's not perfect. The show's not perfect, but no show is. And at the very least, like, at the very least, this still, this still is working the way it is. And they haven't really good guy syndromed RPD guy yet, so if Dio is the only example of good guy syndrome, then okie doke. Like, RPD guy, his whole thing is, like, I want to murder Wang, and I want to win this game. And he doesn't want to shoot kids. Not really a good guy. Not really a good guy syndrome there because, you know, shooting at kids never really came up while he was a villain. And so, like, as a result, it's something that you could totally see. Like, oh, yeah, no, that makes sense. Someone who's, like, super mercenary but, like, averse to shooting kids in the face. Like, he wasn't going out of their way to help, out of his way to help the ice lolly. He's just like, I don't want to shoot you. Fuck it, but you're going to have to come with me for a moment. I don't know. Like, it, it, it kind of, it, it works. It works based on established character traits. So that's... That's fun. Um, Wang is... I don't want to say he's a good villain, because he's not, like, interesting. But he's got a cool power set, and he is just the right level of fucking sociopath that you want from this sort of death game. He's not deep. He is just, I'm in this for money and prizes and murder. Nothing else. And you know what? That's fine. That is totally valid. I mean, we already had Dio as a villain that filled the the deep villain sort of thing. So, eh, Wang being the way Wang being Wang is totally fine by me, and it also gives RPD Man uh, a very like interesting foil because I feel like they share like a lot of their motivations, but their willingness to follow those motivations are different. Both of them want money. Both of them want to win. But they have different. But they. But RPD man has hang-ups on acting like a absolute douche canoe, 
Uh, whereas Wang is totally willing to break a little girl's arm and fucking sever her fingers one by one till she tells him what he wants. Like, you know, like, it's it's cool. It's a, it's a, good, it's a, good, it's a good foil, you could say. Um... Yeah, like, as the show's going on, like, we're, we're really, like, speeding up in, like, a very good way. Like, the, 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 it feels like this arc is coming to its climax, and it's a really, really good climax. They're, they're not, like, dragging shit out, like, what, like, like, before it was like, okay, here's people interacting, here's shit doing what they, what they want, and, like, I like that a lot. And then it was like, okay, here's a fight. But, like, as we've been going on, like, the fights have been getting more prevalent, and... Like, the interaction is becoming less, a little bit less, but that makes sense because we're approaching the end game. And in this sort of situation, as things start getting more hectic and more desperate, yeah, you're going to have less downtime. And that downtime, and that lack of downtime makes the action feel a lot more intense because it's, you, you no longer have space to breathe. Like, it, it's, it's a pretty good, cool kind of way to do. I like it. It's fun. Um... Yeah, and, and Wang being, like, like, I guess his sigil is supposed to be, like, a reference to, like, samurai aijutsu. You know that one where, like, they've got the sword in the in the sheath, and then, like, in one fluid movement, they dash forward and go... <laughs> you know, that one? Uh, I guess that's supposed to be what it's supposed to be a reference to, because, I mean, they kind of showed him, like, in, in Ryuji's mind eye, like, where he just had a sword, like... I guess that's kind of what they're doing, but it really does feel like he's got two, two, uh, two sigils. I, I, I don't know about that one. I don't know. But at the very least, it's two powers when most of our boys only have one, or like one useful one. Um, which does kind of put him like a level above, you know? Like, it makes him a obstacle to be overcome. And that's fun. And that's cool. Uh... Yeah, I, I really like this show, uh, and I'm hoping that they maintain this momentum all the way through. And if there is going to be a second season, I'm, I'm, I think that by the end of this, I'm going to be looking forward to it. So, calling it, like, right here, like, fucking, like, fucking five episodes, five episodes early, this show going to be good. Because it's been good so far. Oh, boy. But that's really all I gotta say. So let me know what you thought of this down there in the comments. Whether you like this episode, you dislike this episode, or you want to bring up something I left out. Because... Hey, that's entirely possible. Oh, mm, boy. Uh, remember to like, comment, face, subscribe, share on social media. Tell your friends. Hit the share button down below. And if you want, you can always support me on Patreon, which is linked down in the description and on the end card, uh, where there is a list of all the people to keep the show up and running. Uh, big thanks to all of those guys, because yeah, there's, at this point in these, in these, in these dark times, uh, yeah, that's shit basically most of my income right now. Because, oh boy, nobody's hiring. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, thank uh, so thank you for your your, your support, everybody. Um, yeah, and as always, I am Nozvix, and I will see you in the next video. But most importantly, we've all become a trash mammal today, and I will see you a rundery.